welcome back to the channel, it's Kitty here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today, I have a review and first thoughts on the new Sims 4 stuff pack, laundry day stuff, and I was lucky enough to receive a code from EA to get this early and to make a video for you guys before this is launched. So this pack is coming out tomorrow, the 16th of January. And today we're just gonna look at the cast and build them by items. And I'm gonna tell you what I think about them and whether this pack is worth it or not. This is obviously the community stuff pack. So we were able to vote on pretty much every single thing in this pack throughout last year, which was super exciting. I really enjoyed it. So I pretty much know what is gonna be in this pack because I know all the items and cast items that we voted on, but I haven't seen them in game yet and I haven't watched any streams, etc. So this is gonna be my honest first impressions. If you want, you can pause here and read this. But basically, the laundry day stuff pack is about washing your wardrobe, building a rustic home and dressing your sims in country style. I am so excited, let's go ahead and jump into create a sim. All right, here we are in Creative Sim. We're using one of my go-to sims today. So this is Leona. And I'm gonna try all the new female clothes on her. So let's just get started with hair. We've got two new hairstyles for women. First off, we've got this one. Oh, that's cute. Oh, I actually really like that. So it's just like a very uh, like casual, bun on top of your head kind of messy bun and I like that it kind of comes down there as you can see I think it was in the notes I think I saw something about you know gravity you put this up a while ago but gravity has done its job and you know it's just like slide it down a little bit and I really like it here's a few colors oh my god I wish of course that you could change the color of the headband without like changing the color of the hair that would be super handy but here you go I really like the pink I mean with the blonde because pink is my favorite color but there you go and then the other hair but I do like that one and we don't really have this yet and next up we've got this one another very you know casual laid back hair and this one has this hair clip on it which is so cool like I use these and we don't we've never seen this in the sims 4 this is cool it's just super casual like you just grab this hair clip and you just put your hair up and you didn't care what it looked like but she still looks like really really cute i think this is cool again you can't change the color of the hair clip unfortunately but you know you can make do with this i think it's cool so those are the hairs that we got let me check if we got any accessories all right no accessories so let's move on to tops oh my god this already looks super exciting <gasps> What is this one? Okay, let's start with this one because it looks so cute. It was really similar to what she was actually wearing. This is so cute. This is like really perfect. Like you can match this with anything and almost any sim could wear this. This is so versatile and it comes in pink. Okay, I love this. I'm so glad we have this. Like I have similar things as CC, but obviously not as like a, an EA made item. Look, it has different patterns too. Okay, I really, really like this. I think this is super cute. And I'm gonna be using this a lot. So next up, we've got this shirt. Oh, I like this too. I want this shirt in real life. I love that color. Okay, we've got a few patterned ones. This one is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I remember voting for these. I did not remember this item, but I guess we must have voted for it because we got it. I love the yellows too. Okay, this is really, really pretty. It's a cute, like flowy top i really like this i they they, they describe this as like country style and i think it's kind of bohemian cute casual this is cute too oh i like how it's like different length on the other side we got the black and the white which i appreciate oh. and we've got a pink color this is cute it's very very feminine like almost over the top well not really because there's nothing crazy going on but to me like i'm i'm very feminine and i like cute and girly things but something about this like ruffle is this a frill what is they called in english i don't know but it's almost over the top anyways it's cute i like off the shoulder and next up we've got this one. Oh, i really like this one too i love the like oh neckline and it's kind of low which i like and it's another tied up shirt my other favorite tied up shirt came from backyard stuff and that is one of my faves this is so oh my god that looks perfect with her skin tone Look at this. Okay, and we've got some plain ones that don't have the pattern on them. Just a few of them, but that's really good. Again, super versatile. 
really like that and then lastly oh my god another off the shoulder this is much cuter than that one i love this and it's cropped okay so we got some like flower embroidery is that i don't know okay and then good we've got some swatches that don't have the flowers actually we only got three of them but that's better than nine so this again super versatile i can see my teens wearing this young adult maybe you could even have your mom wearing this this is so cute oh my gosh i'm super impressed so let's leave her in that and let's go look at the bottoms okay only one new pair of jeans from this pack okay Okay, I wish we got some more high-waisted jeans because I never find myself using these low-waisted jeans. I just really prefer high-waisted jeans on my sims and on myself, but cool belt. We haven't seen a belt like that before. Okay, and we've got different colors. I like the pink again. It's not really my thing, but I can see uh, that it does add a lot of, oh my gosh, a lot of like something that we didn't have before. So let me go find the outfits. Okay, that was the only outfit. Okay, that doesn't feel like we got that many items, but okay. I mean, obviously, there's still the guys, but here is the full body outfit. Oh my gosh, I remember this from the concept art. I love the dress. I really like it. It's kind of short here, right in the middle, like almost too short, but I love the denim vest over it. And here, oh, oh so pretty. This is so pretty. I would wear this in real life. Okay, I love it. Oh, okay, and we've got some non-patterns, just some solid colors as well, which I do appreciate. Okay, well, that's cool. Let's check out some shoes. Two new pairs of shoes. We've got some boots that I think are supposed to go with this outfit, especially. Okay, I think they look similar to some other boots that we've already got, so not too excited about these. I mean, they're nice, and at least we have some colors that we don't get yet. So we got light blue, we got light pink. I mean, sure, but they're not really my thing. And then, okay, we've got some wedges. I think I voted for these. Maybe. I don't remember. It's been so long. But they're nice. We don't have many wedges yet. Again, backyard stuff pack. I feel like it also came with some wedges. So we've got kind of a similar style a little bit going on. Like the pink and the blue. Not bad, but I prefer the ones from backyard stuff pack. Okay, we did get one new accessory. So we've got these socks. Okay, definitely not with these shoes, girl. That's a bit too much, but okay. I mean, I like the texture of them. They look really like thick and soft, but I mean, sure, I like them. I think they're a good addition and I really like the colors that we got. So I think that must have been all for women. So I'm going to get myself a man and we're going to look at the new clothes for men. All right, let's use North here and let's look at the one new hairstyle for guys, which is this one. Okay, so we didn't get the boat on the hairstyles. They did explain that it was because the, the hairstyles are like the first thing they start working on and the boat just couldn't happen because it was so early. So these are the ones we got. So three new hairstyles. This is the one for guys, the masculine category. I mean, I like it. I, I like how casual it is. I, I can see my sims wearing this and it's a little bit longer. Mm, but I do like how it starts here and there is no middle parting or anything. And it all just goes like straight to the back. So it's not bad. I'm going to assume we didn't get any new accessories or hats, but I'm going to check them out and then we'll move on to tops. All right, so tops for guys. Starting off, we've got this, which looks very interesting. Oh, I actually really like it. I like how casual this is. And I really like the fit, at least on my sim here. And I really like the pattern too. Oh my god, this one. We're kind of getting like this ombre feel, which is beautiful in my opinion. And I'm assuming, yep, we've got some plain colors in here. Some solids. What? Okay, we've got a DA t-shirt, I guess, since this is laundry day. So, oh my god, imagine if you wash, somehow washed this shirt and then it came out of the laundry clean that would be so funny don't think that's like, gonna be the deal oh my god these stripes okay these are a little bit too much for me but i do get where they're coming from but like i don't think i would put my sims in these but okay i do like that shirt and then oh my god i love this i definitely voted for this i'm quite sure this this is beautiful i love this this is so cool i'm gonna use this all the time so i is this like a button shirt or is it more like a thicker jacket i think it's just a shirt and you can see the undershirt i love the 
are they diamond shapes? I don't know, but I think they're really cool. Here's a few different swatches. Oh, and the plain swatches. This is really nice. Oh my gosh. And I love these where the shirt underneath is patterned and this one. Okay, I like that a lot. I think the guy clothes are looking good so far. And here is another one. So this one is short sleeved. And the shirt underneath is a little bit weird. Is it longer on that side or is, is it just like lifted up on the other side? I don't really know, but okay. I like this. This is cool too. Oh my god, I can't click on anything. Oh wow, look at these. And more ombre in there. Okay, okay, I get it. I like it. This is cool. Let's look at the bottoms. Okay, so guys got new bottoms. I mean, more new bottoms than girls. <gasps> Ripped jeans. Yes. Oh my gosh, I wish they were a little bit more skinny jeans because that's what I personally prefer. But we only got like one pair of ripped jeans before, I feel like, for guys. At least not that many. Okay, and lots of nice colors. Oh my god, the purple and the yellow. I like them. I mean, yeah, they're okay. Maybe with boots, I don't know. And then we also got these, okay, shorter. Are these like Capri pants? I don't really know. Are they just rolled up? Okay. These are also, oh my gosh. Oh, look at this outfit. This is beautiful. I need a sim who dresses like this. This is so fun. Okay, I love these now. I didn't know they have patterns. They're so fun. I love the patterns. I'm all for them. Okay, this is really fun. Really appreciate these. And then did we get any new shoes for guys? Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, no new shoes for guys. What about outfits? no new outfits either so i guess that's why they got two new pairs of pants and we also did do the vote and you could vote on like girls and guys at the same time and i'm assuming a lot of people voted for only the girl stuff so i guess they just put what they could in there so that's gonna be it for the guys now i'm gonna look at the children in case they got anything new that's a teen so let's change her into a child and let's see if we got anything new okay we got uh, at least one full body it's this one. Okay, this is similar to the adults one because it's a dress with like a denim vest on it. Again, it's really cute embroidery. This one has a ladybug and bees. Okay, this is cute. And this definitely like matches the other one. And like you can be a mommy and daughter in the same style. Very cute. I love the pink. Did we get... Okay, this could be... Okay, this is probably unisex. So for girls and boys. Okay, it's like a little... Interesting, the pocket situation is interesting because you usually see those on hoodies and this is not a hoodie. Also, it looks very small. I don't know what I think about the pocket. The pocket is a bit weird, but other than that, I really like that swatch. It's beautiful. Okay, we got a bunch of different ones. Oh my gosh, not the stripes again. I don't like those stripes. Okay, I mean, sure. It's cute. And then for bottoms, no new bottoms. Okay. Accessories and shoes. We didn't get anything. Neither did we get hair. Let's look at little boys. Yep, boys. Again, wear the same sweater. And again, no bottoms. So only things for kids are this one sweater and then the dress vest combo. Okay, we got nothing for toddlers. I did check. So that is all the creosim items that we got. I think what we got I really liked and I really love the style. This whole bohemian vibe is really my thing. So if that is your thing, you're going to enjoy this pack. And I think you can, like your sims, you can have some really fun sims wearing these clothes. I feel like maybe there weren't that many things. But then again, keeping in mind, this is a stuff pack. It's only $9.99. So we're not going to get like hundreds of new items like we did with cats and dogs just a few months ago. So now we're going to jump into the build and buy items, which I'm really excited to see. And I'm going to show you guys those as well. All right, here we are in build and buy mode. And uh, let's start off with, it doesn't look like we have any new wallpapers, but the, the doors and the windows are glowing yellow. Okay, so we got the new doors again. We did vote for these, so I kind of know what we're getting. Wait, what's the, oh, okay. Yes, we got this door. Okay, it's the same door. Only difference is the little curtain. That is really awesome that they gave us both the options because, you know, some builds really freaking need the curtain and some of them really don't want it here are all the colors which is really like that we got the pure white and then this like almost gray black color and then some more fun ones same ones here yep okay that's fun did we get any other no other sizes and then for windows well, okay nothing for the meat uh smallest uh wall height okay medium wall height let's see this oh <gasps> 
Oh my god, it's a bay window. Spell B A E. Are you serious? When you tell her boo about the countryside cottage you'll settle down in to grow old together, she's envisioning a home with these beautiful bay windows. <gasps> bay windows? Oh my god. Okay, this this is great. This is awesome. We don't have this. Look at how far out it comes. And I think you can put things here and your sims can like go here. You know, if you put like a chair or something. <gasps> That is so cool. Here are the different swatches. Okay. I like it. The color of these uh, zigzag thingies, it doesn't change. It's always black. Okay, it looks much better from this side. Oh my god, this is so cool. No way. Okay, that is awesome. I'm really, really glad we got that. So that is only for the medium. And obviously you can put it in that tall um wall height too but okay nothing for the small one that looks like everything from here so let's move on to all the objects okay let's go through this quite quickly so we've got these chairs which are so cool i love this like i forget what it's called oh my gosh what is this called like a is it called like woven i don't know but i love this material really cool uh Lots of fun. Oh my gosh. Lots of fun swatches. Okay, you can make great things with these. We've got these black and white options. Really like those, but the yellow is cool. Here is a matching lounging couch. These are great for outdoors, but I can see these being used indoors as well. Okay, I like those. I like how the like round they are. I really like that style. And then here is a new dining chair. Again, the same material, which I really like and which we don't really have in The Sims 4 that much yet. And this is a really nice style, like I feel like I've seen these chairs in real life. Okay, not that many color swatches, but enough. We got the white and the black and the brown, and we've got some fun colors. Those would be really nice uh, around a dining table. Then we've got what? The bottom in. Okay, so let's see this. Okay, so it's a new ornament. Obviously, these are, you can sit on these. Your Sims can sit on these. Can we? Oh my god, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. It's a polka dot and this one has stripes. That's very cute. I appreciate that. Let's see if we can put this in the bay window. Oh. Okay, so without move. Wait! Okay, wait, I'm so confused. Okay. I don't know. I don't have move objects on right now. I don't know if your sense can sit there, but that's a cool new item. We don't have many ottomans, so I'm always happy when we get the new ones in here. Here is a six-seater round dining table, you guys. I've been waiting for this for ages. Now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like one of the smaller four-seater ones just sized up, but it's not ugly. I mean, it's not too modern, but this is kind of like suburban, more traditional. It's cool. And then look at this. Look how many. One, two, three, four, five. That looks so nice. I'm super happy about that. We did not have a dining table like that before. So that is super cool. I really appreciate that. So happy people voted for that. Then we've got a new end table. Okay. I like this. This definitely is the country style. Bit rustic, bohemian. I love that. I really like this. This is a really cute style. I'm already imagining all the super cool builds that I can do with these items. This is so nice. Okay, this is our, a new favorite. So let's do that. That color swatch is perfect. And then this, when life gives you linens. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we've got a lot of new clutter items, which obviously I love. Lots of builders always are looking for more clutter. And lots of things like this. Like what is this? Is this like a side table? Uh, I think this is a side table. And then you can just, you can see that they're using it as storage. So we've got baskets and pillows and stuff like that inside. <gasps> and they change color. Oh my God, that. That goes with that so perfectly, and I love it. <gasps> Look at the polka dot pillows. This is so cute. This could be awesome in, like, a nursery, too. This would be perfect for a nursery, actually. Super pretty. And we've got a new coffee. <laughs> what? Coffee times two? Wait, what is that? Coffee squared. Oh, coffee squared. I get it. <laughs> So a new uh, square coffee table. We've got two before, so those were from, were they from Parenthood? Oh, I don't know. But we've got a new one, and this is, okay, I wish we got a modern one because we don't really have a modern one yet. We've only got these, like, more, well, this one is kind of rustic, but the other ones are more, like, traditional. And then we've got a markdown cabinet, okay. And again, a really nice item, kind of just to, like, fill your home. This is something you would have in, like, 
your is it called a mudroom the room like where you come in from outdoors and it has some like jackets or something hanging in it i really like that next up okay weaker whims shelving oh <gasps> Wait, is this actual shelving? Can you put stuff on those? Because that would be so cool. I think you can. So these are tiny little shelves and these are baskets. Oh, like baskets on the wall. You're just hanging them there before you need to use them. That is, this is so cool. I remember voting for this. I love this. This is going to be perfect in some homes. Next up, we've got a Dutch hutch. Okay, so more storage. Really appreciate these. Like I'm a builder, so... I love anything like this. So this is again really rustic. I love the country style. Look at all those little drawers and we got a little basket down there. I, I'm imagining you can put stuff here. Like there should be some slots that you can place stuff on. We're going to test that in a little bit. Even if there isn't, you can use move objects on to place items there. Okay, let's get rid of the window so we can get some wall space because we've got some more clutter items for the wall. Okay, more like shelving, but this one is just for... For sure. So we've got, oh my god, love this. Look, it has a little succulent. We've got an iron in there, an ironing thingy. What is it called? I don't know. Uh, some towels, some uh, clothing hangers, baskets. Oh wow, I like this. Okay, so only thing that changes color. Oh, the box changes color, and so does the little towel. And obviously the shelves. Those are super nice. And here's another one. Ooh, deluxe shelving. Okay, so. These could definitely go together. Um, if we get rid of these or put them there, these could, you could somehow, let's see how, okay. If I had move objects on, I could make some like really cool shelving units out of these like that. So those are on the same level. <gasps> this is so pretty. And you can put more stuff on top because it's a shelf. Okay, I love these so much. I'm really excited. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but to me, that is just amazing. We got a DIY sink. <gasps> I voted for this too. This is definitely the country vibe. Oh my god, I don't know. Like this is maybe usable in like sheds and maybe outdoors. I, do, I wouldn't put this in your kitchen or in your bathroom. So maybe not the most versatile sink, but really freaking cool. I like it a lot. And we got another sink too. Okay, so here's another one. Again, looks more like an outdoor barn type of sink. Like again, the country vibe is coming through here, but I like that they both have something underneath them. So, oh my god, that one is real rustic. More like rusty. Oh my gosh. And then, you guys, we've got the laundry machines. So, these are the washing machines that we voted for. This is the gameplay item from this pack. So, here we go. I think we only got, like, one washing machine and one dryer, which to me, I guess that's fine. I wish there was more, like, a modern version and then one that wasn't as modern. But this is modern and I like modern, so I'm fine with that. Okay, so this is the washing machine. We got so many different colors. <gasps> the pink is pretty. Okay, this is really, really nice. I like this a lot. I'm glad we got a lot of different colors. And then we've got the, yep, this is a dryer. You can put them on top. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so you can put it on top. You can put it next to it. Whatever you want, they open from the front, so you can access both of them, even if they're on top of each other. I'm assuming, yep, we've got the same colors for this one. Look how fun! I really don't like laundry, and I wish we voted for something else in The Sims, but we got it now, and I'm happy with it. Okay, these colors are really nice. They're so pastel -y. Oh my gosh, I want, like, kitchen cabinets, kitchen counters, and dishwashers in these colors. No, thank you. And then we also got it... Okay, is this cheaper if you buy them together? 500, 525. No, it's the same price. So you can also buy them together. Don't really know why they put this in, considering, as you can see, yeah, it's like, it's like, can you even, yeah, why did they put, I don't know. That's interesting. It's just them put together. Well, there you go. Those are the new uh, gameplay items. I think maybe we got something else, because I know you can wash your uh, clothes by hand too, which is cool. And you can hang them. On, oh yeah, on the clothesline. Okay, so we do got a few more things. Oh, here is the wash tub for if you want to wash your clothes by hand, you know, I don't know, more of a country lifestyle. Okay, not that many color options, but we got pink. I like it. I mean, okay, I wish we had more colors, but 
not bad and then okay so we've got okay new hampers for obviously these will fill up now when your sims change their clothes i'm assuming and then you will pick up your laundry from here and take it to either this what's it called again a wash tub or your washing machine what does it say about these anyway Okay, owning this object will cause your sims clothes to become dirty over time. When your sims changes outfits, discarded clothing will automatically be placed in the nearest hamper that has available space. Okay, good. Thank goodness. So if you don't put these hampers on your lot and you don't have the whole washing machine thing, your sims won't just leave piles of dirty clothes everywhere. This is how it was in The Sims 3. And I'm super happy it's still like this because I don't I don't think, I think I'm gonna get sick of laundry in like a week and then I'm gonna be like, no more laundry and I'm gonna get rid of all these hampers, etc. So that's a good thing to add. But I guess if it goes full, then the clothes will start being on the floor. But we've got a few. Okay, this is a modern option and this one. Okay, so I really like like the different textures we've got and materials. We've got a lot of different variety here. And these are cool. I like this one the best, obviously. It's kind of modern. And here is the clothes line. So your sims can hang their clothes outside to dry, which I think is cool. I mean, it's a freaking laundry day called stuff pack. So I'm glad they added this. So it's not just, you know, putting your clothes in the laundry machine. And then when they're done, they somehow magically like disappear and you're all done. So there we go. That's cool. Next up, we've got some baskets with flowers. <gasps> Are those pine cones? No way. That's so cute. Okay. This is really cute. Oh my gosh. I don't remember voting for this, but it was a while ago and you can make this smaller. This is so cute, you guys. I love that and I totally appreciate the pine cones. And then we've got another plant. I'm so glad we're getting plants because we haven't gotten any new plants in so long. Maybe in cats and dogs, but like before that, we just never get plants. And now we got some because we wanted for them. So thank you, everybody. This is interesting, very big. I don't know if you would put this inside or if it's more like an outdoorsy thing. Maybe you could put it inside. Here's a few different swatches, very simple. Oh, let's try to size it down. Okay, that would be cute inside for sure. Okay, I like that. Then we've got more succulents. This I definitely voted for. They're like a cute little bench. Look how many are in there. That's so colorful. Okay, I like it. Okay, th so the succulents stay the same color, so. If you have like a black and white room, maybe this is a bit too much, but for colorful bohemian country homes, that's perfect. And then we've got some uh, laundry bits here. So let's try to put these. Okay, so they, there's a lot of slots here. Okay, well, I mean two and two and then one here. Okay, they go on these shelves and up here and up here. Oh my god, awesome. So this is like a cute little laundry detergent. Yeah, and it has a bear on it. Well, that's cute. Appreciate that. That's great clutter. Here we got. Okay, so this one's oh, it went on top Okay, so that one goes on top and it doesn't go on these Interesting, so it's just a little bucket it looks like for cleaning has some toilet paper or something in it and some washing Liquid, I don't know and a little rag, but that's cool. Here are some more baskets that we totally voted for Okay, wicker whims sure why not? Okay, they are cute. I really like them. They're a great new clutter item. We got some like a little bit colorful swatches and then we got this black and white. Really cute. And then even more. <gasps> I voted for this too. Still a country life. That is so cool. Seeing the items that you voted for come to life in The Sims 4 and you can actually use them in your game. That is amazing. I'm really hyped about that. So here we go. This is cool. So we got like a little stool with like a jug on it that has some branches. We've got succulents down here. We've got a little basket full of, I don't know, some veggies that you can eat or fruits and then changing the color. There we go. Okay, so a few different color swatches. I think this is cute. I can imagine this in like the corner of a house or outside and next to your house or something. That's real cute. I really like the clutter. The clutter, just this is clutter heaven. And if this is your style, you're gonna love this pack. Like this whole bohemian vibe, which I often build with. So I'm super happy. Next up, we've got, okay. So this is actually quite a cheap rug, 110. <laughs> yeah, I notice those things sometimes. So this is cool. It's called a utility rug, a utility mat. Okay, so let's see the different swatches. 
Oh, it's really boring. Oh no, this is so boring. Why did we get this? I do think that I saw a post that they added more carpets than we voted for, so that's nice always, but this is just really boring. I don't see myself using that often. Maybe if I like size it down and it's like, hey, you can come in here. It's your like doormat. Okay, I don't have move objects on, but you get the idea. This one looks cool though. So this is, oh, this is pretty. I love the material again. It's like this woven material. I don't know what it's called in English, but really cool. And not that many swatches, but at least we got this white one and the brown one, which I like. And then the more beige one. That's cool. Okay, we got a lot of these. So here's another one. Okay, a round one with the same materials and same colors. Really like those. I think maybe we saw these. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Maybe we saw these together. Like you could definitely match these like that. Really cute. I like them. They're so cute. And we don't have anything like this. So I really like those. And then yes, we did get this rug. So this one is cool. I've been waiting for rugs like this my entire life. <laughs> Love this. Not that many color swatches, but this is going to be so cute. I absolutely love the pattern. That's one of my favorite things from this pack. And these little, what are they called? Fringes? I don't know. They look really nice. And here's the other rug. Okay. Uh, not as nice as that one. Oh, I like this. Okay, this swatch is really nice. There's another one. And these ones are a bit out there. But I really like that swatch, so I like that. Oh, and then we got this one, which has uh, three together. I mean, I'm really... Okay, so this is uh, these three together. Super glad we got all of them separately. Because if we just got this, I would have been... Oh, I would have been quite annoyed. Okay, I thought I was just changing the color of one of them. But no, they do all change together. So oh, there you go. A few more items that we got. I'm trying to go through these quickly. We've got a rub board. Oh, that's cool. So it, yeah, it goes on a wall. And it's just a decorative. But that's cool. It has to do with washing. Oh! <gasps> Here is this one. Oh no, this is so cool. So definitely voted for this too. I don't know. It's really great for again, like your mud room, if that's what it's called. And like maybe you have a cleaning closet or your, what's it called? Like a laundry room. So that would be nice or even outdoors. I like that. That's real cute. Oh, okay. We're going crazy with the camera here. And then we got this. Oh, really cute towel rack. That's really cute. Okay. So I like that. I'm pressing all the buttons here. Oh my god, it has a pastel swatch. Okay, I appreciate it. Love it. I like that so, so much. <gasps> and then here is the wreath or wreath. Oh my god, which one is it? I think it's a wreath. I always say this wrong. Magic item lore, item no drop. What is this? That is funny. Oh my god. What the heck? So it's, well, it's like an item in some kind of different game. Okay, that's real funny. Here it is. This is beautiful. Can you put this on doors? Okay, obviously you can't. I wish you could because that would be so pretty. But then your sims would just walk through it. Because if it moved with a door, that would be a whole new animation. But here you go. It's really, really pretty. Oh, look at those flowers. <gasps> this is so gorgeous. I can see a lot of use for that. And then these are my favorites. So, gro wait, what is this? Crockery kitchen herb rack or herb rack, depending if you pronounce the age where you're from. Oh my gosh, I love them. This in a kitchen, like country kitchen, bohemian style kitchen. Oh, this is so pretty. Definitely voted for this. This was one of the first items that I voted for. And we even saw this in like first concept art that we ever saw. That is so pretty. I love it. And then a few more items that we got. We've got an ironing board. Okay, cool. And then oh, ironing board that comes with that, those two items together. That's cool that we also got them separately. Always really appreciate that. Look at that swatch with the pink and yellow and the flowers. Beautiful. That's nice. I can make a really cool laundry room in this. And then we've got this, which I think is a candle. It's a candle bowl. It does not go there or there. Okay, let's um get it on a table here we go okay so i don't think i voted for this personally but i think this got a lot of votes yeah it's kind of cool i see why you'd like it and it looks really good on the round table so it's just some like candles i don't really know what they're doing in there but that's cool and then we did get one lamp oh my gosh i need to turn on move objects so there were a lot of lamps that we could vote for in this pack but this one was definitely everyone's favorite and we only got one lamp. They were so cool, the other ones, but oh well. 
Okay, so it's, oh yeah, it's really hanging really high because of the wall height. I wish it was a bit longer, to be honest. I wish it was like, it would hang lower. That's what I'm wishing, but this is still really cool. This is like what we wanted, just like a single light bulb. Let's make it a bit bigger. Well, I mean, now it just looks out of place. I don't know, but that's cool. So those are all the new items we got from the Sims 4 laundry day stuff pack coming out tomorrow. What do I think? Personally, I really love these and I'm so excited about the fact that we got to vote for every single one of these items and then they put what we voted for in the pack. I wish they would do that for all the packs. That would be amazing because that means we're getting what the majority wanted. I didn't want laundry, but that's okay. We've got it. I mean, I can live with it. I'm sure it'll be fun for a while. And I really like the style of these items. They're not good for like modern homes, homes or... I don't know, penthouses or something, but they're really good for what they're meant for. So the rustic lifestyle, country homes, I don't know, like eco living, which was originally going to be like the style of the pack. So I really like them. I think we got quite a good selection. We didn't get that many like kitchen related things or anything like that or like bedroom things, but it is called laundry day stuff. So we got a lot of stuff to make laundry rooms now, which is something a lot of people wanted. So if that is something you're looking for, this is gonna be the pack for you. If you want a lot of clutter, cute bohemian bits and rugs, etc., you will enjoy this pack as well. But I can see that this might not be everybody's thing, but I'm definitely going to be using these items in my new speed build. So that's pretty much my thoughts on this pack. I like it, but I can see that it might not be for everyone. But the bohemian, rustic, country style vibe is definitely for me. Let me know below in the comments what you thought of this pack and all the new items that we got. Sorry, this probably dragged on a little bit, <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed. I got a bunch of new builds and etc. coming with this new pack, so be on the lookout for those. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new here. I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye everybody!